Hey, Dan Coach Miller here with NorCal Sports Network with a video on Roki Sasaki, the Japanese young 23 year old phenom. And where will he land? Which team gets him now that Blake Snell has signed with the Los Angeles Dodgers? We're going to get right into this. But before we do, I just want to give a shout out to our sponsor and thank them for this video. That's Chapman Law Group, Chapman Law Group in Marin County. Check them out and give them a call. You can read about them in the description of this video. All right, everybody. Roki Sasaki. Um, where does he land? Well, the odds on favorites is the Los Angeles Dodgers, but Sasaki's agent, Joel Wolf, has recently uh, taken offense to say he has a handshake deal with the Dodgers and saying that hey, you're questioning, that's a knock on the integrity, my integrity, said uh, Joel Wolf. So could that mean that uh, maybe Wolf, to prove that he didn't have some kind of deal, which I don't think he did, but does that make him possibly look to go elsewhere? I don't think it does. I think in the end, he ends up with the Dodgers is my guess. but. There are teams that do want him, several teams want him, since he's going to be posted in, after January 15th of 25, and that's the new international signing period. So there's a new set of money, which unfortunately is probably going to affect some other players that were promised a deal internationally because once teams say they want Sasaki, they're going to have to back out of deals that maybe they had for some other players, which uh, is really a shame. Major League Baseball needs to fix something along those lines to do something to prevent that. But for the sake of where Sasaki ends, it's between the Dodgers. The Padres are a, are a fit, and they're going to go hard after Sasaki. They need Sasaki badly. Let me tell you why. After the 25 season, Michael King – and uh, he will be a free agent along with Dylan Cease. So the Padres are going to lose two starting pitchers after the 25 season. So they're going to have to, and, and the Padres, how much money are they going to be spending? The Padres have a very short window, it seems, like with Machado and Tatis and Bogarts. I mean, Jackson Merrill's very young. He was a runner-up rookie of the year. But we're looking at, uh, the Padres have a huge need for Roki Sasaki, and he's very close with Hugh Darvish. So does that make a possibility, or does the pull for playing with Shohei Otani and Yamamoto and having three Japanese pitchers that you know, can – buddy up and you know communicate that's important when you come from another country and you don't speak the language or know the culture you know so i think he's going to end up with a team that does have another japanese player that could be the mets with kodai senga uh depends on what happens how how you know far steve cohen's going to go if he's gets juan soto and he wants to add more pitching to to make you know Soto happy, but it's it's a crapshoot because of the it's an international pool of money. There's a limit. It's not like not going to cost that much. Most of these teams have roughly five to six million dollars available in international pool money, and some teams get penalized for the pool money because of uh, signing certain free agents. They lose out on uh, some of that international pool money. So we'll see. It's going to be very interesting. And uh, I want to point something out here. We had Ned Coletti, former Dodger GM, on our show here just last night discussing, or I shouldn't say last night, but uh, what, what night was that? Uh, Tuesday night. Um, when uh, the, the news broke, uh, Blake Snell signing with the Dodgers, we were right on it. We had just started our live stream. We were one of the first ones 
to cover it. And um, that's why people come here to NorCal Sports Network, not only because we break news, but we cover it all. And uh, I want to thank you guys for subscribing to this channel. We have blown up with subscribers and we're continuing to grow. This is one of the fastest growing YouTube channels uh, covering sports, especially San Francisco Giants and Golden State Warriors and San Francisco 49ers. But we cover it all, guys. So, uh, But I want to point out something that Ned Coletti said just Tuesday night on the show regarding the Dodgers and Roki Sasaki. So let's uh, let me play that for you guys right here. Very, very focused on not just winning, but dominating. And when you have as much starting pitching as they have right now, you, know, you have a lot of lot to fortify. You've got a lot of different people that can, can step in. I think they're going to try and do a six-man rotation. Yeah. When, when Shohei comes back, you got Shohei and Yamamoto both that uh, are more accustomed to pitching once a week. So they'll be able to do that and continue to run somebody out there every day. That would be the ace of most staffs. Yes. Does this uh, preclude them from signing Sasaki, you think? Oh, no. No, Sasaki is going to be really a low money deal. It's really going to be right. out of your international budget. You know, that's that's nothing compared to this. So this the, only helps them sign. So, Sasaki. yeah, so they could trade. Okay, there you have it. <laughs> it said it. Oh, Ned Coletti, you heard it right there. Former Dodger GM said this only helps them. This would give the Dodgers a seven to eight man rotation. And that doesn't even include Clayton Kershaw, who's probably not coming back. But the Dodgers are going to probably sign Sasaki, according to most experts. I think that does happen. And when that happens, <laughs> we'll be discussing do the Dodgers have the greatest starting rotation of all time? So, guys, the Dodgers get richer. And do you blame them? Why wouldn't you? You know, a lot of people say, you know, booey on the Dodgers. Can't stand the Dodgers. I hate the Dodgers. And I get that growing up as a Giants fan. But you know what? Got a ton of respect for a team that wants to win. If you're really an honest Giants fan or any other team's fan, you would say, I wish we had ownership and the, had the vision and the foresight and the passion to win like the L.A. Dodgers ownership group does. So you can't get on the guys that sign there. It's a destination place. It's a club. People want to get be part of They want to be in on it. So the best players are going to want to go to the Dodgers. So I think uh, this looks well for the Dodgers. I think they add more. I don't think they get Juan Soto now. I think uh, – that's going to be something where he ends up with the Mets, but uh, we'll see. Maybe the Red Sox, too. But, guys, uh, make sure you hit that uh, like and subscribe button again. Really do appreciate that. Tell us your comments below here on the YouTube comment section. We read them all. We respond to them. And we definitely appreciate you being a part of NorCal Sports Network. And uh, it, it means a lot. And it really means a lot when you comment on these videos. It does, uh, like I said, we can't get to all the chats in our regular comments during our lives. But on these videos, we can get to the comment section. So thanks again for watching, everybody. Really do appreciate it. And uh, give us a like and a follow. Thanks so much.